pretty busy. Welcome to Chiatura, the town of the most amazing cable cars that you have ever seen right here. Some of these have been running since the former Soviet Union. That cable car takes people all the way up there and it's very old and as you can see the windows are just like mashed wires. <laughs> From where I was standing before, it looked as if it's not working. Cable cars are stuck, so they're not working at the moment. These cable cars, they look more like Hollywood horror movie. Let me just show you the entire station. The cable cars, the door, step ladders, and over there, a cable car is stuck. Just met some very interesting ladies. We're talking about the cable cars, the funny colors, because one of them is stuck, and they're saying it's gonna be fixed like in um, a day or two. So what happens? But if uh, that happens to, and if it doesn't fix, yeah, uh, people will sleep here and it's inside. Inside, yes. And so, so if I am inside that funny color. And, if not, and then it gets stuck and nobody fix it. Yes. I have to sleep there. Yes. All night until All the night. following day. Yes. No blanket, nothing. No covers. Because nobody's nothing. gonna bring you anything. Yes, nothing. You have just sleep here. So that means next time when I go in it, I have to go in there with a sleeping bag just in case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, that's fine. It's just normal. It's okay. Yes, I know it's not. It's not very normal because yeah. if uh, such things happen, maybe someone will help us yeah. and took something or plane or something. But, but the floor is cold though, so yes. So you just have to. That's it. Don't worry. Just sleep, and then in the but morning. But you can you stand and sleep uh, like this and not, uh, not, not uh, lie down. Or uh, uh, sleep standing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why not? Oh my God. It would be good experience, I think. Yeah. Wow. Have, have <laughs> you ever done it, Tamir? Have you done it? No. One time. Oh, you got stuck in there? Yeah. No, I, I, I never. Oh, tell me about it. No, no, no. All right, th th thank you very much. And Ma Mariam? Yes, Mariam. Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. Tina, Tini? That's a lovely name. Tina, Tini or Tina, no. Oh, Tina, no. Yes. Tina, yes. Not Tina, no, it's no good. Tina, yes. Well, cable cars are not working here in Chiatura. Because now we, I'm going at the apartments building which are high up in the mountains. Normally people who don't have a lot of money are taken here by the cable cars that are not working. So I was told that we have to get in this number 25 Mashutka. So we got in the Mashutka and then this little girl said, it's free. Then I asked the old gentleman over there and he said, yes, it is free. And I thought, huh, that's different in Georgia. Just for a moment guys, just pause for a bit. Imagine if you come from a third world country or countries that are poor and the government can provide this free transport for people who cannot afford it. Just like here in Georgia. Because we take this for granted and at the same time made me sit back and reflect on how important life is if we just forget about money, you know, just like they do here. The Mashutka is full. Uh, this is my first free ride in a Mashutka. It's free, unbelievable. Um, and now we are going to the old village up there, to the apartments where these lovely Georgian people, Chiaturians live. I think they're called Chitura, Chiturans. As you can see the Mashutka is full. Say hello guys. Say hello. hello. Katya, you haven't said hi yet. Hi. <laughs> and I present you. <laughs> 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 
I present you Chiaturo's best. Yes, yes, yes. Cable car, look out. It's like from Stephen King. Horror material. There's the, um, the famous uh, ladder that I was telling you about. If something happens, you have to come through. This little hatch opening up here. This one at least is operated. As you can see, it's got the old, the old phone there. And the lady operating it is sitting right here. This still work? Oh, all right, okay. Oh, so you only. She says she's the only one who can use the phone. And how can you? All right. There we go. I like that. So this one we go up. It's a bit hazy, so you can't see anything through the window. I was looking forward to these cable cars in Chiatura, but they are scary, they are frightening, they are rusty and old. The pain is flaking off, it's just peeling off slowly. And there's an old Soviet made telephone just in case of emergency. The other day it was stuck and people had to come through that using the ladder, which is right here behind me that's the ladder there that's the lady um, who's controlling it you go in here they shut that door for you so you can't open it from the inside see now there we go it's going down Enjoy every moment of it. If it's scary, it's worth it. But don't die doing it. If you die, maybe it is a day. The most famous Chiatura cable cars, funny colors. It's got a few windows, but as you can see, the type of the windows that we have, they all have mats, so you can't do anything. Well, don't get stuck. Oh, she dropped. You got everything? Just come and come here with everything. Very bumpy. It's not really there. The, the door, we have to close it ourselves. That's the thing. There we go. We got our life hanging on a cable Can right now. A... Now we are moving and there's nothing here. Let's look through here. Hmm? We can't see anything. Do you open the door? You open it from the outside. Shit. Uh -huh. That's the Chiatura right down there. Close the door behind you, so now you have to come out. Yeah, this is the interesting part right here. Man. Control right there. Now we go again, and the lady driving it. Hello, my dear. Kavarjova. After you, dear. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Oof, you don't want to fall down there. <laughs> the door has been shut from the outside. If you get stuck, you're on your own. As you can see the handle there. That's the handle. You can't, you, you can't do anything from the outside. You can't open it. Once you're in, you're in. Man. This lady's killing me with the smoke. <laughs> Smokers. Selfish people. You can't beat this cable cars, man. It's like Hollywood. You don't look at it. I get enough of this cable car. 1954. Yes. When you take this kind of a cable car, this funny colors, it feels like you are facing death. It feels like you are going to your own death. It just feels like you are going to die. But then you see the old ladies getting in with a smile or some getting out with a smile and you say, mm, what the hell, let me just try it. <laughs> Things we do for traveling. If you don't try, you will never have the full experience. So I say, go out there and travel don't wait for a holiday package do it on your own do it with your friend with your wife with your girlfriend with your husband with your boyfriend it does not matter you can go with a friend just go and explore Wow, and, she, and she's got a, this place is all warmed up, this is like it got a, an old um, coal stove, I think. That plate is pretty hot right there. All oh, right, oh, okay. Oh, so she presses the button there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you press the button and then release. Oh, she makes a call, okay. Ah, oh, you are lovely, you are my girl, thank you. Oh, Didi Madloba. Jesus. Zari. Yeah, Zari, okay. It's Zari. Okay, Zari. Yep, yep. It's telephone zero. We'll have to go Okay, and then and then he goes. Yeah. Wow, you know it's amazing because she's got the buttons here. She turns it on, and then she releases the gear, and then he goes, so she can stop it on the way. And you just release the, the the weight and the tension. So this is like a control room here. Zari, Samos da otchit lis. Ah, you were driving last time when I was here. Hello. Oh yes, I have to take this off for you. She was the she was the driver last time. Yes, I remember you. You were driving the cable car engine in Chiatura, and this is the station where the cable car comes. And as you can see, they've been running since 1953 and they're still running these cable cars. It's not abandoned. It's still working. I mean, you look at the door, it's old as well. How old is that door? Look at this door. If even the bench is doing the zigzag dance. Hmm. It's the beauty of this place. Oh. oh, that's good. Uh, let's go all the way there. Oh, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> look, look at this. If you walk at night, you lose your head. <laughs> oh my God, I nearly lost my head here. <laughs> I nearly lost my head here. Oh my God, that's crazy. It's safe. Are we walking here? This cable car station has been here since 1953. This is like stuff from Hollywood, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing here, this is not a movie, this is reality. Whoa, it looks so scary. People live in these flats and you can see the flats are very, very poor. 
but people live here they just get on with it gabar joba people are living here is the stench of feces and urine yeah the smell is not good at all mm. see somebody's living here they've got a padlock no no lifts here you have to walk that's as a lift there so you see it's it's gone a nice door somebody lives here maybe some people are nice it just doesn't smell good at all man biggest problem is it doesn't smell very good here it smells very bad you got abandoned dogs in some of the abandoned buildings I want to show you something look at the beauty of the rock monastery there's a monk who still lives there and it's more like a, a male monastery because women are not allowed in. He has been living there for over 20 years. He has dedicated his life to serving God, to serving God. Imagine that. According to Georgian historian Katrasaze, they found or remains of an old church up there. He dated it back to between 6th and 8th century. That's a very long time. Now, the new priest who lives up there, priest my monk, uh, Magzin, had to rebuild that with uh, some of his followers. And according to some of his followers, they say when he came here, he was living inside a fridge. So he was sleeping in a fridge. Imagine that. They say it takes the monk 20 minutes to ascend and descend. So that's very, very long time. They say it took researchers and surveyors and years to try and work out how this was built because there was no sign of, um, of how it was built. So it was a bit tricky for everybody. And where you see the gentleman standing there, that's the little church. So you have to, um, if you want to go and see, you have to be in that church for a few days. You will see the inside of the church in a minute. And here, right in front of me, is a winch. This is what they use to deliver food to the monk. Just follow the, the ropes. You see, they go high up and up there. And then the monk will receive his food. Going inside the church. Oops. With Orthodox, you have to take your hat off every time you come in a church. So I have to be very, extremely quiet. This church has got two doors. There's a door right behind me. And the other door where I've just come in which is there and the sun is shining through. So let me just do another turn. Look, there's another door here. That's the door I used last just time. Just to make sure that the monk cannot be disturbed by uh, inquisitive visitors or intrepid travelers, they've put a lock here. There's a big lock, as you can see. And this metal is closed, it's locked. So you cannot go in there even if you try. So he goes up there and all he does is pray and worship the Lord alone. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe and share.